I'm going from never leaving the United States to going to three different countries, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland to go snowboarding. I'm so excited going with the Clue team. These guys are rad. They're bringing me out there. So enough talking. Let's start journeying. This is going to be a trip vlog of our time leaving the country, going snowboarding. I'm so hyped. Shout out to Clue. Let's get this thing rolling. Of course, we got to drop off sticker orders before we get out of town. Now, I was going to be going on this trip all by myself and just the Clue team, but there's one of my homies that always feels like he's being left behind, so he always tags along last second. That's the ski dog. We're going to Europe, baby. Let's go. <laughs> he's giving me a full tune real quick right before we hit the slopes, which is much needed for my board. Ski dog is coming to Europe with us. I'm so hyped. At least he can speak French. I, I was going to be so lost out there, but having Michael, I feel so much better. But uh, let's get this tune going. Yeah, big one there. We're going to fill this in quick. Finally keep up with me. I actually hasn't looked this good since I bought it. If you guys need a tune, hit up the Ski Doc mobile tuning business. He literally runs it out of this van. It's the coolest freaking thing. And uh, we got a flight to catch, so enough talking. <laughs> Let's get on the move. Caught behind the nation blinds. How to reach for the city. Double bag mic. It's hard to do all, all those influencer stuff. Where I belong. I made through security. It's always a question with Michael whether we're gonna get through or not. Now we gotta go on a long flight. I've never flown for more than like five hours at a time. It's like a nine and a half hour flight, ten hour flight. Here we go. Tagging influencers in the wild. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight. All along I think it's time for me to go yep. Burn all the bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the phone Pulling the stitches time yeah. Michael, hi, Jan, how are you? Huh? Is it okay? Yeah, it's easy, but... Yeah, just left all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting Michael come. Yeah, I'm stoked to be here. It's this gonna was, be a good time. Was... Alright, we got the clue team. We're loaded up in the van. We're headed to the mountains now. So this hotel has a uh, wax station literally in the lobby. And we can't stop this guy. Oh dude. Just can't stop him. This is just like the van. He's like, hey. Let's do this. <laughs> no, oh, wait, we just got to the hotel. We just drove three hours to get to the hotel. And then... First time these bindings, dude, they just clip in. I'm toe. so stoked to try these out. Toe, toe first. Toe, toe, is toe first. They clip in. I'm still learning first time, but these things are gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're in Solden, Austria. That was a little bit of a jump, but we stay in this really rad hotel. One thing I noticed the most was how much better quality their continental breakfast was, which it, it blew my mind. It literally was like a, I can't even explain it. It, it crushed our fast food style American continental breakfast, like out of the park. Like it was so good. I ate so much bread. I'm paying for that. But Solden is a really large resort here in Austria. They have one of the longest runs in the world, 9.2 miles. So we did a whole top the bottom of that run and then we rode their park we rode around got some powder it was insane and overall austria is rad we went to a restaurant last night too when i swore we were walking into someone's house and the vibe of it yeah this is day two of the trip obviously we just went snowboarding it was so good make sure you check that vlog out here let's do a quick little highlight reel of the day for you guys <laughs>
Wow. My day got way better the moment the sun came out. Now I'm smiling ear to ear. This might be the craziest place I've ever been. This is like a church, the bells ringing. There's a freaking castle up there. We're supposed to be staying in this like hotel. This is like in the middle of the mountains. Like we drove way up from up there, like on the hilltop. This is crazy. All right, it's day three of the trip, day two of snowboarding. We are on top of some really rad hotel here in Austria. This area is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Stayed in a nice little quaint little hotel. Almost uh, lost my snowboard boots because my boot dryer uh, melted. I don't know why that happened. I used the converter thing and everything. Yeah, my room smelled like plastic this morning. But we're on our way to St. Anton today to go riding. I'm super excited and I just wanted to mention one thing, guys. There's a freaking castle up there and it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's raining right here where we are, which is a good thing because that means it should be snowing up on top of the mountain, which I'm super excited about. And I don't even know if I'm supposed to be standing on this roof, but I saw this area and I was like, I gotta come talk to the people. I want to give a huge shout out to Anna, who works for the Clue team, who booked all of our places to stay. They've been amazing so far. I'm super stoked and thankful for the opportunity to come out here and see parts of the world that I never would have probably saw without the Clue team. So thank you guys so much. And I'm talking, let's, uh, let's go snowboard at... Uh, Say Anton. Backlash written oh. on me, card robbing on a glass bowl. I've been falling. Oh. Free my ladies in the counter now. I'm already out. Already on the countdown. I'ma set it right. Oh. Got the backlash written on me. Cold running from the pole pole and it's on me. Don't know which way we're going now. I don't wanna know it. Oh. Might as well be going down. I don't wanna know it. I got the backlash written on me. Card robbing <laughs> on a glass a dream bowl. Day. I've been falling. Free my ladies and counting now. I'm already out. Already on the countdown. I'ma set it right. Got the backlash written on me. Cold running from the pole pole and it's on me. Yo. Don't know which way we're going now. I don't wanna know it. Might as well be going down. Woo. I don't Front flip jump. Yes! Let's go! Wow! Oh, yes! Did you? <laughs> but now I'm headed out there anyhow. Set it up like I'm headed up for the big amount. Shoot it up like I'm heading up for the pictures now. How many people do it the way I did it now? I really mean it, I feel like they only want around. Well, while I'm at it, I ain't kidding, I won't have it. Try and wait for me to slip, I ain't no bad man. I'll be center in a ring, I'm Joey Sackett. And when you see me, I just came out with the hacker. Oh God, don't be stressing with the magic. Acting not cause you ain't never seen no rabbits. All them bunnies, they be helping me imagine. How I tell them that the man has got the backlash written on me. Car dropping on a glass bowl, I've been falling. Three my ladies in the common now, I'm already out. Already on the countdown, I'ma set it right. Got the backlash written on me, cold running from the pole pole and it's on me. Don't know which way we're going now, I don't wanna know it. Might as well be going down, I don't wanna know it. I got the backlash written on me, card robbing on a glass bowl, I've been falling. Three my ladies in the counter now, I'm already out. Already on the countdown, I'ma set it right. Got 
the backlash written on me Cold running from the popo and it's on me Don't know which way we're going now, I don't wanna know it Might as well be going down, I don't wanna know it Day two of riding was probably one of the best dream days I think we could have asked for in Europe. And uh, the powder was rad, the views were rad, and obviously the sun came out, which anytime you can get the sun out, makes the day exponentially better. And today is our third day now of riding in Europe, fourth day of the trip. And we're at Soretta Montafon, is uh, I think how you say that. And it's looking like a little less snow here. I think maybe a little lower elevation because we're at the base right now. Uh, you take a tram, which are always fun to take, to the top. I'm, I'm assuming there's way more snow up there. I heard they have really steep runs here, like a 67 degree pitch, which is wild and rad. So we're gonna check that out. But you know, it's day three. We're gonna do what we've been doing for the other days. Let's cut to the quick little montage of the rad day and uh, let's go. John Marco's the man! I thought I went big. These guys are built different. Take care. It was, was a pleasure. This is like the creepiest kid. Like their smiles. Like at first glance, it's like, oh, it's cute. And then, then you really start looking at it. And you're like, 
What's going on? It blows my mind. You can go from mountains like this, like sharp, full of feet of snow, just gorgeous, to like no snow, like valley, extreme powder, gnarly riding, valley, no snow. Like extreme, rad, super steep powder, grass. All it's like right there. And that's crazy to me. Dun 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 We wanted to bring you some snow from the mountain. Guys, this is our Uber driver, Jan. Hey, what's up? And uh, he has put the whole Clue trip, Clue European tour, uh, he planned it in a, in a way. He told me three years ago it was gonna happen. So he came true on his word. We're here, we're doing it. Thank you so much, man. But we had a killer day. Yeah. Uh, Matzo Fondo is my favorite. Really? Yeah. Montefon, probably my favorite resort. That was insane. But today we're at Lox. Can't really see anything right now. And it's currently raining, but I'm pretty sure once we go up this gondola, it's going to be not so rainy. Lox is kind of more of a park resort and it doesn't look like they got the greatest snow currently. But I'm so excited. This is the resort I knew most about before coming out here, mainly thanks to Stala Sembe. And uh, hopefully we, uh, have a rad day. I think we're gonna shoot. This is our last snowboard day here in Europe. Not our last day, we have a lot more days ahead of us. The last snowboarding day in Europe. Here we go. So fun fact about Lox is it was kind of Jake Burton's home resort over here in Europe. So he really liked this place because he had a house here. There's a Burton store here. And when he passed away, they made this like Jake Burton memorial right here, which is pretty freaking awesome with that X for Lox in his face. Crazy to see. Really rad. Oh, they love each other.
All right, I just woke up in some beautiful part of Austria. We had pizza last night, which was really nice. And overall, Switzerland was rad. We didn't stay in there. We just literally drove in Switzerland, rode locks. Sadly, the weather was kind of overcast and rainy slash snowy, and the snow wasn't the best at locks. But we'll, we'll head back to locks. That was really fun. Beautiful mountain, obviously insane terrain park. And sadly, our last day of snowboarding on this trip, but it's not our last day on this trip. We still have all of today. We're going to the Clue Factory, and then we have two more days of I don't know what we're gonna get into, but we gotta get moving. German time, gotta be on time, so I gotta pack up all my stuff, and then we gotta get to get going. We gotta go to the Clue Factory. Right on time. Yeah. <laughs> German time, we're late. The whole trip vlog. It's a whole trip in one video. Help! Help! <laughs> How do we get out of these tunnels? Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Clue Factory. I'm so excited to build a pair of clues today. Before we hit the epic road trip though, we gotta stop at a Austrian German bakery. <laughs> Are those donuts? Drive through the farmlands and whatnot. Look at that! We got the uh, the banner. You're a good driver. On the autobahn, we went what, how fast? Not so fast. How fast? There were moments of fast. I don't know. We went fast. the clue factory they literally hand make these in germany we were looking at and messing with a bunch of the tools i also needed a couple new components so grab those so rad to meet the other owners of clue it's just so cool to see it, the the back end of everything Oh my gosh! <laughs> they just keep going! <laughs> So we're staying in Johannes' parents' place. This is gorgeous. Down here in downtown Munich. You gotta see this. It is freaking gorgeous. Like, these buildings are crazy. But we're downtown and we need to get around. And so we went and got skateboards. I got Bristol a nice pink one. This is gonna be her gift, but while dad's here, he's using it and we're skating around downtown Munich today. This is gonna be a blast. I got one too. <laughs> 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 it goes under the door. <laughs> okay. There's so many tunnels in Europe. <laughs> This is one of the nicest cities I've ever skated through because every sidewalk has a bike path that's super smooth 
and then the walking path, but the walking path is also extremely smooth. But the seams everywhere too, there's like not a lot of curves. It's so easy to go from one area to the next. Munich, skating in Munich is easy. We just met up with Jan, he brought out the bike. So uh, we're gonna hang on to him and he's gonna skate us across this city. Whoa! <laughs> He's still our Uber driver, even in the city. <laughs> I'm like a little leech. <laughs> Dude, look at this like river canal. I don't know. Going through the city, this is insane. Say it again. Nymphenburger Schloss. Nymphenburger Schloss. Perfect, perfect. Dude, I speak German now, guys. I'm a local. <laughs> We gotta get closer. All right, the castle is sick. We're on to the next thing. These are little gardens that you can uh, rent. So like, you can leave the city and uh, have your own garden. <laughs> <laughs> So Jan brought us to, there's like a massive hill over here where you can like see over the city. So this is the Olympic Park here in Munich. The city is friggin' beautiful. Jan brought us to uh, a little German skate park. So there's no vert, I can't do anything. It's insane how smooth this city is. Jan just brought us to the best pizza in Munich. I'm gonna put this here so every time you come get pizza, you think of me. <laughs> Forgot to uh, film the pizza, but I did take a photo. It was delicious. It's real Italian pizza, Jan says. But uh, we got a little more exploring to do. This makes you lucky, I guess. We explored Munich, like almost all of it, a lot of it, all the touristy stuff. We were able to do it super quick. Can you help with that? <laughs> Tomorrow is our last day in Germany. We are gonna start the day with sausage, white sausage, and then we are headed to the clue house thing. So uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so today we're gonna get white sausage. It's a classic German breakfast on Sunday. Today's Sunday, it's walking day, they say. So we're uh, we're excited we showed up on a Sunday. We're hanging out with Johannes, Jan, and we're going to the clue house, or thing as well. What up? Hi. Been to the what? We, we went everywhere yesterday. Like, literally everywhere. <laughs> and also the... I would love to see it. This city is so impressive. All right, we're back on the streets. So we just came to this brewery for breakfast in Germany. White sausage, a beer, they call it a white beer for breakfast is like uh, popular on Sunday, so. Servos. All right, German Sunday breakfast is delicious. One thing about these two guys is they, they know that they're, they're the locals. They know when to show up. Like we show up, it's quiet, we eat it smooth. And then by the time we're leaving, it's busy and it's hectic. And so the locals showing us the way. <laughs> to the clue? Yeah. Clue house? Let's go. The clue house. Headquarters. The headquarters. Clue headquarters. Yeah. It's so busy now. 
That's what I just said, dude. I literally just. I, I walked out of the bathroom and like, it, but when I walked in, there was like, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I was like, these guys are locals because we show up and it's they, quiet they came and nice. The tunnels and like. <laughs> they came the tunnels. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. <laughs> the ski docks here. <laughs> Into the clue quarters. The headquarters. All the prototypes. That's so cool. This is the first. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, this is the testing area. Did you guys make this too? Yeah. You get the boot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's about to go down. Clue headquarters, freaking rad. I think Ski Doc uh, smoked Giannis and Ping Pong. Oh wait, I didn't, it was the other way around. <laughs> We're gonna go see more of the city. Thanks for showing me all the top secret stuff. <laughs> they got Cirque du Soleil going on right now, but this area right here is where they do Oktoberfest. Uh, this is like a rad, crazy graffiti spot. That is crazy. the subway and then decided to just get an uber because snowboard bags are so bulky and annoying <laughs> <laughs> So do you love your skateboard? Yeah. You're welcome, baby. Is it pink? There's flowers. There's flowers. There's flowers. There's flowers. It's almost taller than you, princess. All right, I'm so happy to be back home with my kiddos. I've been home for a while now. I've gone into the editing cave, this office, and we bust out all the European edits. And this one obviously was heavy, over 30 minute long video. But did you guys miss dad when I was in Europe? Yeah. I missed you guys so much. Mm, I missed mommy and everything, but I'm happy to be home. Thank you so much to Clue. What a trip. I mean, literally the most insane trip of all time. Thank you so much to those guys. Make sure you follow their YouTube, their Instagram, check out their vlogs, check out all of my vlogs. So much content was made and just happy to be home with my kiddos. Okay. All right, with all that being said, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow. The video is daily on this channel. We do stuff like this daily.